Hey everybody, Rodman here for another episode of Kenshi. Thank you for tuning in. So last episode, we sent Rodman all around to run some crazy errands, and he's going to continue to do so. Um, first, going to hit up a holy farm and try to get a domesticated bull, which will make for a very good um, hauler and potentially combat um, animal. There is a bit of a discussion between Garu and Bulls um, of what they, what people like most. Uh, I'm actually, actually, truth be told, pretty indifferent between the two. Uh, Garu may be a little weaker, but they move faster, but they also have a light source. And Bulls um, are stronger. I don't know. It's, it's sort of half a dozen of one, six of the other, right? Um, another thing I'm going to do is to start stockpiling these iron clubs that I've been crafting up for weight training because they are very um, inventory dense, meaning they don't take up a lot of room, but they're pretty heavy. There's only a few items in the game more inventory dense, and they're not that common. You have to go out really searching for them. So with that in mind, we will hold on to them. Uh... Chung is just going to keep the base running, uh, i.e. fed and clothed and stockpiled, uh, while Ronmont runs around trying to recruit everyone. There's some fairly high skill recruits that I should be on the lookout for. Um, that would be good. I'm aiming to try to get as many uh, unique recruits as possible just so that there is a possibility of some backstories and the like. Um, which means Oron here is going to be uh, another one of the recruits. She is, um, although you can name her, she is technically uh, a unique. So we'll add her to our cast. And hook her up with some copper um, mining. So there we go. Before I leave, always with the buying of food. In fact, I'm going to buy meat wraps too. Just because I have a hungering populace. And I don't want to make them starve. Sad Neil, on the other hand, does not eat. So... That is uh, a wee bit of a benefit. And this episode, I think I'm going to whoa, make an attempt to get another skeleton. So we're going to go up here to Burns Tower. There's only three unique skeletons in the game, and I am definitely not able to recruit the third one. Uh, some hungry bandits for some free combat experience. I don't mind if I do. Uh, crumbles down. I don't even know what... Oh, crumbles back up. I don't even know what weapon Oron has. A uh, horse chopper. Not terrible. Even half of my crew can pretty easily take out these Hungry Bandits now. Um, maybe I shouldn't call it easy. I did have some knockouts, but uh, we definitely did it without much fuss. I'm going to send uh, the Doc out here to heal people. And actually, I need to start sending some of these people back to town in order to... Uh, Remove home intruder, intruder out. All right, I want to task rescue and put that up much higher for the dock. All right, the dock is getting crumble. And beep. Beep's already on his feet. Um, we're gonna patch everyone up here. Including Yuruka. And splint rigging. Oh, that's a bandit. And then uh, carrying the true wounded to a bed. 
Okay, where is Radamont right now? I am at Rebirth. Oh, not bad, not bad. The reason I changed my mind about where I'm headed to, I don't really have the money to hire anyone at the moment, so that is the reason for the, uh, the detour. Doing a quick health check. I'm going to send uh, Ruka and Voth to the box to eat. Mew just went to the box to eat, but I'm going to send her back. There's a few NPCs that don't come and deliver stuff. Um, don't come and deliver ores, so I'm going to stockpile them with food so they don't uh, become malnourished out there. Discovered a lone shack. All right, here's Voth. Give him a lot of food because he's a shek. All right, these two sheks are now very well fed. Where are you going with this bed here? What is Doc doing? You're trying to medic Mew? Yeah, Mew. Let's hold. And now you can move. Discovering ruins. Now these ruins are going to be useful for when I am traveling about later. For sure. Now, I think Oron had a little bit of a head wound, but nothing that time won't heal. I don't really need to send Doc out on a trip for that one. How is Crumble? Uh, he'll be back on his feet soon. I've seen worse. Uh, Mr. Doc here. I think I'm going to send you... Do I have a better trader backpack? All right, let me see if I can't buy one. Who's got it, actually? Uh, Molly does. So, Molly... Switch... And Chung, because the amount of value added between copper, which sells for, um, let's say 180, because that's the current markup, and um, components, which is only like 200, there's not a lot of difference. Uh, there's not a lot of converting copper into electric components is easy, sure. It's free money, but the amount of uh, economic difference isn't that high. The difference between um, uh, iron and armor plating is much larger. You have something, let's call it uh, 90, and that kicks up to 500. That's a lot bigger of a gain. So when I'm having, when I want someone to do some errands, having it be uh, Chung is pretty simple and easy um, because the work he's doing isn't all that valuable. I'm pausing real quick to see what ruin I just discovered. Nope, I still have a little bit further to go on Radamont. He is in the southern floodlands. I need to get to northern floodlands. And Burn is another skeleton um, that I'm adding to the crew. Now, it is possible to use rentable skeleton beds. Um to repair your skeletons or have them repaired at the prosthetics people. There's a bunch of other ways to do it, but in the long run, you're probably gonna to wanna to do it yourself. Really, I came all this way and you don't even have the materials I'm looking for? Ugh. I guess at the moment I don't really have the, um, the money to buy much anyway, so. I'm just looking Around here, who do we got? No uniques. I don't think uniques will ever be here. There's a plastic surgeon here, though. That might be useful later on. Hep. Um, Hep isn't unique either. If I was to hire random people, Leaf is not unique either, I don't believe. No. Uh, random people, the hivers are pretty... Pretty easy to hire. I wonder how expensive he is. I'm not, uh, I don't have that kind of money anyway, but um, 
And the reason is they they don't you don't need to feed them much. Um, they are calorie inexpensive. It's kind of a weird way of putting it. Looking at my current stats here, armor smith 62, that's pretty good. Weaponsmith 27, you've already bypassed Shrike. That's cool. And we're still working on them. Clubs. Okay, Unknown Tower. That's definitely, I'm getting close. So better pay attention. Come on, keep on going. Don't be shy. And oh, there's a spider there. Uh, this isn't burn tower anyway. It's this one. I already walked past it. And let's go talk to burn. Let me guess. Another adventurer? You certainly don't look like the scavenger type or the bandit type either for that matter. How did you know? Uh, the Fudland mostly attracts the, uh, mostly attract the venturing type. Oh, okay. Uh, it's full of the lost treasure, of course, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, you just have to risk the spider bots. And then um, he's been holed up in this tower and his life is dull. He doesn't mind sharing shelter with a few adventurers. He used to be an adventurer, then he took an arrow to the knee. No, I'm kidding. Um, they're not as perishable as humans, but they have to... Uh, Hmm. Sorry, coffee. Um, they seize up over time. They need maintenance, etc., etc. I have no idea why a metal robot would ever retire in the floodlands. That really does seem like a bad idea. If I was a robot, I would try to go somewhere dry and without sand. But hey, who am I to judge? Um, And then he's talking about the Ashlands and Southern Swamps, recovering lost relics, you know, uh, treasure hunting and the like. And I bet he could teach me about human evolution, swapping notes. Um, and then I'm just going to offer him to come with me. And we're not going to rename him. He is not to be renamed. And we have Burn. Cool. Very cool. Uh, Burn here is, I'm just going to send him for now on passive and we'll have him, oh, Chung isn't home. We'll have him run straight back. And then there is some stuff in this tower worth looting um, and Burn won't mind. Unfortunately, Radamut doesn't really have a backpack, so that's a... Uh, a lack of foresight <clears throat> in an extreme amount. So I'll probably have to min-max what I take back. Take back the really good stuff. Because I don't think, like if I picked up a gear for instance, it's, it's not worth very much. But research books, I don't know. They're not actually worth a ton either. Maybe I'll have to come back. The CPU unit, however, is worth a pretty penny. Robotic components. The spike club can go there, so that works. Special grade boots. Oh yeah. I really need to come back with a thief's backpack. I meant to have one, but uh, I didn't. And uh, I guess Burn here can help loot his own hometown too. So have him run back real quick and grab a few things. Uh, I guess that was not something particularly of worth. I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of all the stuff that's here. The electrical workbench is dull. Um, gears, hinges, how much are hinges? Nothing, all right. We might have actually gotten most of what is 
of use or worth here. I also don't want to encumber him, um, so I might have him trade with Radamont because I want him to run home, and I'm not going to be escorting him very much. So, hmm. On the other hand, the... Oh, yes. Definitely get the skeleton repair kits. The uh, weight training wouldn't be terrible on him. So, yeah, maybe that that's what I'll do. Okay, back down to Chung. Now, Burn will have to run through some Holy Land, and that means if I ever see him being targeted, I'll probably have to just drop gear and run, because that means Paladins are probably likely after him, or some other holy jackass that wants to kill all, all robots. Excuse my foul language. Um, where was those steel? There they are. Steel bars. Okay, well, Radamont's about loaded up um, what I will do is head to blister hill in hopes of recruition burn here is encumbered strength encumbered only only a little bit not nah, only moderate encumbrance he's of course being chased by um, scary spiders okay yeah he is not do gonna do so well uh, in fact, how heavy is his armor? 15 kilograms. I would prefer him not to get demolished. And of course, he is pacing back and forth in front of these spiders. Uh... Okay, him and Radamont rendezvous. And I'm going to need to tell him to repair himself. I wonder what his robotics are like. Uh, negative one, so he's really, really terrible at it. Alright, uh, he'll repair himself, and Radamont keep heading to Blister Hill. I did drop some armor. Uh, I don't think that's a lot of money. It's definitely far less than what Burn is worth. Put it that way. So, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And Burn is slowly repairing himself. His robotics, he has a racial bonus, of course, as robotics. I'm surprised a, uh, a skeleton as old as he is does not have the ability to, does not have the skill, rather, to repair himself any better. As he says himself, he's been around the block. Has he, though? Maybe he's had, like, a little repair butler the whole time that I just don't know about. All right. Well, his stomachs is okay. Uh, we would have to get into a skeleton bed to max out back to 200. But that is something I don't have now, and I'm probably not going to construct in the near future. I could just rent one. I will build one once... I am, um, once I'm all geared up to do so. Uh, and by that, I mean... Once I've got uh, my town started. All the way to Blister Hill. What, what are you doing here? We are, like, Billy Goden up the mountain. Come on. Okay, I'm just uh, going to have to control him a little manually. Let's see if we can't rebuild some broken mesh data. I don't think there's any broken meshes out here because there's really no... Um, not really doing anything out here. Okay, there we go. This is... Looks like uh, deserts of Oblivion and Mor Morrowind. Looks very Elder Scroll-esque. Very pretty skybox. I like the lack of air pollution. 
There's not a lot of industry uh, on this planet. So Burn, unlike Sad Neil, came with some stats. As you can see, he is not a pushover like Sad Neil was. Now everyone does start off not super strong. I mean, there's no like, you, there's no Superman to recruit, uh, which is probably a good thing balance-wise. It'd be kind of annoying if you could just instantly recruit Superman. Uh, these are some fog men that are on the outskirts of um, the fog islands. Burn's just gonna waltz right through. Fog men probably don't even really care about Burn. They would attack him, but the fog men are cannibals, and Burn's not exactly edible, so he has that going for him. One of the advantages of being a skeleton out here is you don't really have any meat, so you're not worth much. Meat-wise, two enemies. All right, let's offload some of these steel bars, samurai boots, the CPU unit. Oh, can't even afford the CPU unit. That's okay. Um, we are looking for a few recruits. Uh, shop guard, but no one in there. Fits the bill. There's a lot of people in here. Bard. Oh, yeah, I'll recruit Bard. Um, he's calling me Muffin. <laughs> he wants me to lend him some cash. And he will sing me a song if I pay his tab. So Bard is a unique Greenlander um, who literally sings. Uh, I'm recruiting him not so much for combat, but uh, he wouldn't make a bad farmer. Uh, he doesn't come with really any stats. Um, so as I said, not for combat. But uh, Greenlanders are really good at farming. Or rather, they have a racial bonus to farming, I should say. So, that's not a bad acquisition there for 3,000 cats for a unique recruit. I didn't realize that... Oh, here's Griffin. I don't have the money to recruit him, but it's good that I found him. He is a very strong recruit. One that I would definitely want to recruit if possible. Um, I can't afford to... I need to find a way to sell off my... Let's try this bar to sell off my my stuff so that I can actually do some recruiting. All right, Bard, you run here. And Burn, you run here. Now, I believe... Let me see. Did I get the skeleton bed? Uh, where would that be? That would be in here, right? Uh, let me see if the tech is still available. Crafting, electronics, robotics, industry. Uh, I still have an ancient science book. Um, I feel like I researched it already. I'm just blanking on where it would be in my, my uh, interior here. It should be here. Maybe I didn't. I'm I'm just having a brain fart. I can rent them though. I don't really even have space to build them. Molly, you are aimless because you only smith weapons. I guess we can plate beat when she has nothing else to do. All right, speeding time back up. Um, where's the barman? You. You have 5k. That's almost enough to buy this. Let's see. I buy something expensive. Blood rum. And something very inexpensive. Raw meat. Or dried meat. Come on. Come on. Um... 
Okay, what about a food cube? There we go. Uh, what a pain. Um, yes. So back to other bars to offload whatever I just bought. Wasn't even really checking. Griffin is still here. He can spawn in a bunch of different cities, so I was happy to have found him. And I need 9,000 to recruit him. I have 9,400, so that is perfect. He had a dream that the Lord of Light came to him and a wealthy wanderer would recruit him. Um, and you think I'm your wanderer? And I will be honored to... I'll hire you, but I have no interest in your religious mission. And he's okay with that. So the reason I liked him is uh, he has a lot of good stats. He starts off pretty strong. Um, and that will really help jumpstart the battle group that we're trying to set up. So I'm going to send Griffin home. And now, let's see. I'm trying to think of other recruits. Uh, some other really good combat recruits would be um, Infinite Wing Wang, who I missed in Mongrel. And maybe Rain the Giant, who should could be in Squin, but also possibly in Admag and La, uh, Last Stand. Those are also some pretty good, good skill recruits. Uh, I did want to possibly get a, um, a Beast of Burden, so I'm going to head to one of the local farms here. Uh, in hopes that I get the offer of buying one of those. See you later, Griffin. Seems like you're moving a little slow there, buddy. <laughs> Athletics matters a lot. Oh, I'm actually going to catch up to Bard, too. Because Rodamont is just so fast. Well, now that it is daybreak, I can more easily sell some stuff... Let's check the food box. Food box is running a little bare. Um, okay, I did talk about selling stuff, but let's load up. Oh, wow, we actually maxed out our copper, so we really need to sell some stuff. I even um, encumbered Chung here. <laughs> Which is funny, because I did some some pretty, I would say, extensive strength training on him. How strong is he? He's 18. Okay, not that extensive. I did know that he was going to be my tech doctor, so it's not like he was put through the ringer on strength. I can strength train everyone once I have a town pretty easily. It is kind of chicken and the egg, though. I find it a lot easier to strength train when you have a town. I'm going to buy all the meat sticks, too. Uh, just so that I don't have to fill the food box that often. This is a good amount of food. Okay, we've thrown everything into the box. Now to trade... Uh, Thieves' Backpack is something I definitely want to buy. And checking the maps. Let's buy the backpack. And that's about it. The backpack will come in great use later on. Alright, Sad Neil, how is your training going? You could still use a bit more of it. Burning Griffin. Keep that move order up. And let's go back to Radamont to check for a beast of burden. A probably a domesticated bull. So I don't know. Garu, I don't know. I it's I'm still up in the air about which one I'd like. I think these guys are only gonna have bulls to trade. Oops. Wrong thing. Yeah, they only have bulls to trade. Uh, so, elder and adult domesticated bulls get pretty tough. Um, I can buy this one. 
a female adult. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this uh, huh. name. See, so the 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 he the the issue here is that uh, you can only name them once. So your regular pawns can get renamed ad infinium. Um, I'm going to name you Pangu because you can just go to a, a plastic surgeon and rename yourself. But uh, the bowls and stuff, it's kind of a one-shot thing. So the good thing here is I was also able just barely to afford the backpack, which will be able to fit a lot of good stuff. And I will send this bull on passive so it doesn't pick any fights down to Squin. Bulls are slow, but they're tough. They're, they can fight. One of the advantages of having a bull is if you leave it in your home um, and you get invaded and your battle force is away, it can still defend somewhat uh, you and your, your home team. I do plan on training up my... Oh, there are some high paladins. I hope they don't catch burn. Uh, I do plan on training up my home team. Um, so that they can at least defend themselves a bit. So speaking of burn, they're passing right by Wolf Den. Yeah, burn Griffin and Bard. Oh, citizens are under attack. Oh no, it was just Bard. Bard was getting a little close to a, a bone dog. So Radamont is heading back to Mongrel to possibly recruit uh, Wing Wang. The good at combat, but all full of himself. Uh, but on the other hand, I am out of time here. So um, I know this episode wasn't, you know, action-packed, but uh, it's uh, a slow crescendo. I am slowly building up to what I'm working towards, which is... Um, breaking new ground in a home. I've definitely picked out the place I want to live at. Now it's just about having enough of a combat force to defend the home because where I want to build is not necessarily the easiest place to live. Uh, so if you have any feedback for me or questions or anything like that, drop me a line. Uh, if you haven't done so already, maybe hop on Discord and we can chat. I'm there you know, most of the time. And I'll have to catch you all later. Thank you for watching and adios.